there, everyone. Skull902 would like you to take a listen to this video as he talks about the third anniversary of our show, Sonic and Mario. Enjoy! Hey there, everybody. This is uh, Skull902 here. And uh, tomorrow, something very special, at least to me, is happening. Uh, Sonic and Mario's third anniversary. <laughs> uh, quite an amazing journey, hasn't it been? No, I agree with you. Um, well, anyway, uh, tomorrow, three years to the day, it will be Sonic and Mario's third anniversary. The series premiered on June 26, 2009, and um, <laughs> no matter how many jokes I make about this, this has really been a, a good experience for me over these last three years. Um, so uh, let's... Let's talk a little bit about Sonic and Mario, shall we? Um, well, uh, it's a sprite series. Um, I was inspired to uh, do a sprite series after uh, me and my brother did some uh, sprite things, you know, uh, during our slightly younger years. Um, our early teens, really. Uh, we learned about sprites and how to do uh, sprite comics and sprite videos and stuff uh, and eventually it led into this um, but uh, yeah um, the series is three years old and um, that's the longest I've ever done a any of my internet shows and uh, I don't, like I said in the first anniversary video, I didn't even expect it to get to one year, really. Uh, I, I, hell, I didn't even think it was going to get to uh, six months, really. Um, but thanks to a lot of people, and uh, of course you guys, the fans, uh, and the great inspiration of some plumber and his dumb hedgehog friend, ha 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 ha, anyway, um, thanks to the inspiration of these two video game characters and uh, all the other stuff I mentioned earlier, I've been able to continue this series and uh, just write a, write a show which I'm confident in and uh, I've had a lot of fun making. Now this is uh, also coming up very soon. Um, going to be... Uh, the longest running series uh, not in just years well it's already su surpassed that but I mean in like episodes too um, none of my internet series before this besides one have ever gotten over 10 episodes and um, you can tell in the 10th uh, episode in the uh, stinger uh, which is those little um, few second messages I leave at the end of an episode sometimes that I was, uh, you know, kind of surprised that um, the series would even make it to 10 episodes. Um, and now we're at 31, and uh, every once in a while I look back on it, it's like, wow, there's 31 episodes of this series. That's. I never expected that. Um, the longest series in terms of episodes I've ever done went up to 32 so in two episodes of Sonic and Mario from now uh, the record is going to be broken and it's kind of amazing to me I don't, I don't know why it is because there's certainly better works out there on the internet but um, I don't know this is just like so special to me for some reason well um the other series, by the way, that made it to 32 episodes, um, I made it in 2007. It sucked a lot. It was crappy. And uh, it's no longer available on the internet, actually. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but be thankful for that, because it was really bad. Um, but uh, that's, that's really all i got to say about the series itself. I'd like to um, make some thanks right now. Um, first to um, the people who made the sprites um, the people who composed music on Newgrounds that uh, I've used in the show um, it's uh, very nice music uh, in my opinion and 
I just liked it enough to use it in Sonic and Mario, so uh, I'd like to thank those people for composing those tracks. Uh, and any episode, by the way, that I've used a Newgrounds track in, I will always credit them in the video description. So um, read the video descriptions in every episode to see if I've uh, used the Newgrounds track, because uh, I've used them kind of frequently. And uh, the theme song is actually also a Newgrounds track, so um, go ahead and like check those people's pages out, because... Uh, just because. Um, I'd also like to start thanking people who got, who I can actually mention um, to the writers. The only other writer on the series actually is a rabid Sonic fan, and uh, he's he's made some great work on the show. I I think that his episodes actually are better than mine because uh, he's he's a really funny writer, uh, and he's just got this wonderful sense of um, jokes and comedy it's great um, but yeah thanks Rabbit Sonic fan for writing and also I'd like to thank the actors and Rabbit Sonic fan is also an actor he's uh, the current voice for Dr. Eggman um, he does a good job on that too I'd also like to thank the two girls running the Sonic Song 182 channel those would be uh, Nux and Ames uh, Together, they uh, voice Rouge the Bat, uh, Tails, Princess Peach, uh, Amy. I've got two Amy actresses out of them. Uh, Ames is the official right now, and Nux is the understudy. Uh, Charmy B, and um, without them, actually, and me being affiliated with their work, and uh, them being affiliated with me, uh, I don't even think I would have half the uh, subscribers I have right now. So... I'd also like to thank them for that. Um, it's it's been great working on your shows, and I'm sure you're kind of happy with working with me. Well, uh, anyway, um, Boyle Voices, who um, was, or well, I mean he's still on the show, but I mean like he was the main voice for Doctor Robotnik slash Eggman for a while, and then I kind of lost contact with him. I don't know. Uh, if he was just extremely busy or something, but, uh, yeah, Boyle Voices, I'd like to thank him, um, Platinum Speed, who is the, uh, understudy for Dr. Eggman, he was supposed to voice Knuckles, um, but that just didn't come to be, I guess, and, uh, he is going to be voicing another character in one of those Sonic and Mario spinoffs and Sonic and Mario the movie, but I'm not gonna spoil who. Um, I'd also like to thank Star Woodpatch, uh, who is the uh, who was the main voice of Amy Rose for a while, um, but because of because I've lost uh, contact with her uh, for a short while last year and early this year, uh, she's like the understudy right now. But she's uh, got a really nice Amy voice, and she was the main voice of Princess Peach until unfortunately she lost her ability to be able to uh, do the voice. I'd also like to go ahead and uh, thank CGS01, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, the voice of Vector the Crocodile. Uh, he's awesome, and uh, he, he has some uh, funny improvis... <laughs> he has some funny improvisational lines. Uh, he has a really nice um, turnaround time, I guess you would call it. He uh, turns his lines in like really fast. It's, it's nice. Thank you for that. Um, and he's a really cool guy. Uh, Beat Blocks, who was the voice of Espio the Chameleon in episodes 14 and, uh, fit, no, wait. No, he was just 14. But, uh, I'd also like to thank him. Uh, Hamsar Runner 1, who voiced Tails in the original version and the remade version, actually, uh, um, of episode 1. I also lost contact with him. I don't know what happened. But, uh, yeah. Guardian Earth 128 who uh, voiced SBO in, like, one of the little previews that I made for Sonic and Mario in 2008. Uh, that is almost just as bad as the old series of mine, which made it up to 32 episodes. You can't find that on the internet anymore. Um, and another actor, uh, a professional actor, who I got to do a voice for the series, but 
due to some bad reasons, was uh, not able to put that voice clip in. Uh, I'm not going to mention his name right here, but there's another video of mine which explains the whole story. Um, so, yeah, I'd also like to thank him. And, uh, finally, I'd like to thank you viewers for sticking with me through all the long delays and the crappy animation and, um, I don't know, my bad performances as Sonic in some episodes and a whole bunch of other things. You guys are great. Um, I love, I love it when you guys comment and, uh, you know, talk about what you like and might not like about the series. It's great. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Um, this has been Skull902 saying happy third anniversary, Sonic and Mario. Peace.